footage of Bieber, Odell Beckham, and Trey songs. Yes. Like, and, and Trey's like literally sitting there playing Lookout. Justin Bieber is getting yacked out of his fucking mind. Drunk? Not even 18 at the time. I was popping pills, doing molly, shrooms. Where we hanging out and what we doing, we can't really disclose. Just like it wasn't semen or fluid, that, that Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club with Trey Songz on the lookout. The strange relationship between P. Diddy and Justin Bieber has caught a lot of media attention amidst the recent allegations against the bad boy producer. Yeah, so, as soon as you turn 16, I'm gonna be driving this next year. Yeah, when you're 16. I mean, I'm 15, you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. 16. 16. Slow down, slow down, Justin. Okay. I got you sitting with the brother of the man that should not roll over and. I know what you're doing. I know where you've been and I know where I'm about to send you. Some dudes belong in jail based on what they do and how they do it. We know that to be true. And it's just this situation, man, um, when they get down to all the facts and all what happened, he may belong in jail, bro. And that's not my doing. That's not Cassie doing. That's his doing and his learned behavior from the people that mentored him. You got to realize, man, you got to, you, you, he learned from Andre Harrell. He learned from Russell Simmons. He learned from Clyde Davis. You understand? When those people are, 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 are telling you that they were in heavy into the drugs, they was heavy into beating women and doing things at that age, at, at that crazy stage, that's gonna make him think that he could get away with the same thing that they was getting away with back then. You understand? The things that he was saying, you know, the touchy feely between two men. For enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane, to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him and so he could. Today, we're diving into a story that's shaken the entire entertainment industry to its core. Justin Bieber, once a fresh-faced teenager who captured the world's attention, has come forward with some deeply troubling claims. These allegations revolve around none other than Sean Diddy Combs, a man who was once celebrated as a mentor to many young stars, including Bieber. But now, things have taken a dark turn and we're being forced to re-examine everything we thought we knew about Diddy's role in shaping the careers of rising talent. Bieber's revelations come at a time when Diddy is already facing serious legal troubles, and the music world is left reeling. For years, Diddy was seen as a guiding force in Bieber's meteoric rise to fame. But now, there's a sense of suspicion and unease surrounding their past interactions. What's even more alarming is the emergence of old footage from one of Diddy's notorious private parties, where Bieber was just a teenager. At the time, the clips seemed like playful moments between mentor and mentee, but now they're being viewed in a much darker light. There's one particular video from 2009 that's sending chills down people's spines. In it, Diddy talks about spending 48 hours with a young Justin, framing it as an exciting opportunity. Back then, these comments might have seemed quirky or harmless, but today, they're being reinterpreted through a much more serious lens. Was this really about mentorship? Or was there something more sinister lurking beneath the surface? As these allegations come to light, people are beginning to revisit Bieber's early years, wondering if his fast track to fame came with hidden costs. The once innocent relationship between Bieber and Diddy now feels tainted, and fans are left asking difficult questions. Was Bieber being exploited under the guise of mentorship? Were other young stars facing similar situations? For Justin, this has to be an incredibly painful time. He's now grappling with the possibility that the man he once admired and trusted may have crossed lines that should never have been crossed. It's not just about the legal issues, it's about the personal betrayal. This emotional weight has clearly taken a toll on Bieber, who has chosen to step back from the public eye retreating into a space where he can process everything that's come out. And this struggle isn't new for Bieber. 
He's been open about his battles with mental health over the years, and this latest development only adds another layer to the challenges he's faced. The pressure of fame, the scrutiny of the public, and now these disturbing accusations have left him in a state of deep reflection. His withdrawal from the spotlight isn't just a PR move, it's a sign of the emotional storm he's weathering. But this story is bigger than just Bieber and Diddy. It's forcing the entertainment industry to confront a long-standing issue, the exploitation of young talent by powerful figures. For years, rumors have swirled around Diddy's private life. But now, with these allegations, the conversation can't be avoided any longer. The industry is at a point where it has to reassess how young artists are protected, mentored, and treated. The power dynamics at play here are undeniable, and the stakes are too high to ignore. As more footage and interviews from Bieber's early career resurface, the narrative becomes more unsettling. What once seemed like harmless fun now feels like evidence of a much larger problem. The 2009 video, in particular, raises some serious red flags about the nature of Bieber's relationship with Diddy. Were these young stars being taken advantage of while being told it was all part of their path to success? This scandal is shining a harsh light on an industry that's often celebrated for its glitz and glamour, but has a much darker side when it comes to how young talent is treated. Advocates are already calling for stronger protections for artists like Bieber, especially those who are just starting out and might not fully understand the risks they're facing. It's not enough to just celebrate their talent anymore. The industry needs to make sure they're safeguarded against those who might take advantage of their dreams. For Justin Bieber, this chapter in his life is another painful reminder of the cost of fame. He's always been that small-town kid who was catapulted into global superstardom, and his journey has been anything but smooth. From public breakdowns to struggles with his mental health, Bieber's path hasn't been easy. And now, with these allegations against someone who played such a pivotal role in his career, he's forced to confront some harsh truths about his past. The entertainment world is watching closely as this story unfolds, and it's clear that the ripple effects will be felt for a long time. This isn't just about Diddy or Bieber anymore. It's about an industry reckoning with the ways it has allowed power to be abused and young talent to be exploited. The hope is that out of this mess, real change will emerge. The artists of tomorrow deserve better than what we're seeing today. As Justin Bieber continues to navigate this storm, his story serves as a stark reminder of the price that young stars often pay for their meteoric rise. Fame can feel like a blessing, but it can also be a burden that comes with hidden dangers. Bieber, who once embodied the dream of instant stardom, now stands as a symbol of the vulnerabilities that come with it. The layers of betrayal he's uncovering in his past have left deep emotional scars, and it's unclear how or when he'll fully heal from this chapter. The entertainment industry, for its part, is now being called to account. This scandal isn't just a blemish on the reputations of those involved, it's a mirror reflecting the systemic issues that have long been ignored. Young artists, like Bieber once was, are thrust into a world where power imbalances can quickly turn toxic. The narrative of mentorship, often sold as a gateway to success, is now being reevaluated. Who is truly looking out for these young stars? How can the industry ensure that guidance and opportunity don't mask darker intentions? This moment has the potential to spark lasting change. Advocates are pushing for new standards that emphasize not only talent development, but also emotional and psychological well-being. The future of the industry depends on how it responds. Will the entertainment world finally step up to protect its most vulnerable? Or will it allow these harmful cycles to continue? For Justin, the road ahead is uncertain. He has weathered many storms before, but this one feels different. The betrayal hits deeper, the isolation feels more profound, and the stakes are higher than ever. Yet, through it all, Bieber's resilience remains. He may be disillusioned, but there's hope that he'll emerge from this stronger, with a clearer sense of purpose, not just for himself, but for the countless others who might face similar struggles in their own rise to fame. The entertainment industry now finds itself at a crossroads. It can either choose to change, creating a safer environment for its next generation of stars, or risk repeating the same mistakes. 
What's clear is that Bieber's story is not just his own. It's a cautionary tale that will continue to reverberate through Hollywood and beyond. As for Bieber, his journey isn't over. He may choose to return to the spotlight, or he may continue to distance himself from it all. But one thing is for sure. This story has forever altered the way we view his rise to fame. It's a reminder that the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world often come with a much darker price tag, and that protecting the well-being of young stars should always be the top priority.